You're likely familiar with Diego Luna. You have likely been keeping up with the Mexican actor's career for some time. He has played a number of significant roles in various productions throughout his career. However, the one movie that most people know him for was his foray into the world of Star Wars. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Diego Luna. Both his parents worked in the entertainment industry. Diego Luna Alexander was born on December 29, 1979, in Mexico City, Mexico, to costume designer Alejandro Luna and Fiona Alexander. His late mother was a costume designer for various productions, while his father was a successful set designer across film, theater, and television. He started his career in telenovelas. Luna has been acting since he was seven years old. For the first two decades of his life, he was primarily featured in Mexican telenovelas. However, as soon as he began landing roles in feature films, he started gaining international recognition. He protested against the Mexican government. As a teenager, he stood up for indigenous rights in an uprising led by the Zapatista Army of National Liberation against the Mexican government. With the encouragement of family and teachers, a teenage Luna would skip school to join the protest. He told GQ, I was 15 years old and I was feeling the responsibility of being a citizen in my country. I remember those days as being important. They define me. I remember meeting amazing people of all ages, all worried about the same issues and feeling part of something meaningful. He was featured in Katy Perry's music video. In 2011, Luna appeared in the highly popular music video for Katy Perry's hit song The One That Got Away as the romantic artist who broke Katy's heart. The video has more than 900 million views on YouTube and it's safe to say that almost everyone has seen it at some point over the last decade. In a 2016 interview with Yahoo, Luna seemed very aware that people recognize him from that music video. Luna went on to say that filming the music video was like a 20-hour party. He was the first Mexican character in Star Wars. Technically, the country of Mexico doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe. Still, the presence of a Mexican actor like Diego Luna represents a major moment for the franchise. He plays the rebel leader Cashin Andor in Rogue One, which makes him the first main Laddings character in a Star Wars film. For many, watching Luna speak with his native accent in a galaxy far, far away represented a momentous shift in a franchise that generally defaults to American or British characters. Luna wanted to keep his accent for his character, in fact, this is part of what made him desirable for the role. A viral story went around about a fan who took her Mexican father to see Rogue One, who was shocked to see the hero of an action film, speaking with an accent like his. The story highlights the importance of representation. Luna even responded via Twitter, saying that it made him emotional. He feels that his part in Rogue One speaks to the film's message, which is about people getting involved and taking control of their reality. We need to live different as a society and understand the diversity, culture, and racial diversity, it just makes us stronger and richer. He went viral for his affection for Jabba the Hutt. When Rogue One was released in 2016, Diego Luna became a huge meme online for his frequent references to the Star Wars character, Jabba the Hutt, and multiple promotional interviews for the movie. In these interviews, the actor stated he wanted to touch the creature's texture, even saying he wanted to French kiss the character. When asked in a comicbook.com interview about whether he has gotten the chance to feel Jabba's texture, he replied, Sadly, I thought it was gonna happen, but it hasn't happened, and I think I'm over it now, you know. It's like I just accept the fact that I will never, never, yeah, satisfy that curiosity. He introduced the Spanish version of Sesame Street. The children's educational television show Sesame Street is one of the longest-running TV shows ever, having first broadcast in 1969. In 2015, the show transitioned from Spanish-language syndication to the creation of a Spanish-language series, Sesame Amigos. Luna guest starred in the first episode of Sesame Amigos, helping to introduce the beloved character of Elmo to a new generation. In his appearance, he and Elmo team up to teach the audience about emotions in an adorable scene. He has a passion for photography. In an episode of the ongoing GQ series, 10 Essentials, Luna revealed that he has a passion for photography. He explained that his grandfather was a photographer, and after his passing, Luna and his father used his equipment to set up a dark room at their house and learn to take and develop photos. He is fond of analog photography because of the intention and care one has to take. He expressed that he is passionate about the whole process that doesn't happen automatically that requires you to think about the best way to photograph. 
a moment, an object, a person. He has been best friends with Gail Garcia Bernal for over 40 years. Diego Luna and his childhood best friend Gail Garcia Bernal have been friends since birth, as Garcia Bernal revealed in an interview that their parents were close and that he had met baby Diego when he was just a few days old. When they were young, they also appeared in the telenovela El Abulo y Yo. In 2005, along with producer Pablo Cruz, they create a Mexican production company called Canana Films. In its first seven years, the company produced over 20 movies, opened an LA office, and created a traveling documentary film festival called Ambulante. In 2018, the duo launched their second production house, La Corriente del Golfo, based in Mexico. He's a humanitarian. Luna became involved with UNHCR, the United Nations Refugee Agency, among his many activist endeavors in 2013. After an earthquake struck the region around Puebla, Mexico, in September 2017, he and Garcia Bernal quickly launched a relief effort to raise funds to rebuild homes, schools, and hospitals. Luna's art has also been used to draw attention to the marginalized and persecuted. Nana, his short film that premiered at the 2015 Sundance Film Festival, was about the personal sacrifices of domestic workers. The actor also used the 2018 Mexican stage production of Privacidad, in which he starred, to speak out against government surveillance overreach.